Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy Chomp. We back on the mic for another video. Don't forget to go ahead and drop a like. Today, we're gonna be doing the Damian Lillard build on NBA 2K21 Next Gen. We're gonna try to get the build as accurate as possible. So, let's get right into it. Make sure you guys drop a like on the video, hit that subscribe button if you're new, and let's get right into it, bro. Alright, so for the position, we're gonna go point guard. Um, handness, I usually like my left hand shooters, you know, my shooters to be left handed. But obviously, since Lillard is not lefty, we're gonna go right. Jersey number, they don't even matter. Alright, so for height, we're gonna go 6'3. Lower the weight all the way down. We're gonna raise the wingspan up to six foot eight. And body shape, that doesn't matter either. But I like to use built for point guard, so I'm gonna go built. Alright, so now it, we are in the um, Sayer Potential, you know, the bread and butter. I like to call it, so let's get right into it. I'm gonna show you guys the exact stats that I use, so, you know, watch this, you know, closely. And um, yeah, we're gonna get the badge breakdown and all that good stuff. Let's get right into it. So, starting off with the finishing, you wanna raise up the layup to a 70. Um, we're going to raise up the dunk to a 90. Um, 90. You want to raise the post control. We're going to max that out. And the reason I went like this with the post control is because post control gets you a lot of badge points. And it doesn't take that much attributes out. So we're definitely going to go with that. That can give us, you know, two nice gold badges. We get that post stars or whatever else. Or if you want to, you know, go Hall of Fame. So we're definitely going to use that six to get that, um, you know, the two gold badges. Next up, we're going to go with the shooting. You want to bring your mid range to an 86. Um, we're gonna max out the three-point shot and then we'll bring up the free throw to 76 and then that way we get the 20 um, We get the 20 badges exactly if you feel me we could get those five Hall of Fames and whatever else you want to use The only badge you won't be able to get is Hall of Fame difficult shots So you could change you could raise your mid-range if you want and lower your free throw if you like, you know to fade more or whatever but for me personally, um, I like, you know, if I when I when I do use this build, I'm going to be taking a lot more, you know, standing threes and catch and shoot shots off the dribble rather than fading away in the corner type stuff. So I'm going to go like that. And I also like playing rec. So I'm going to, you know, have that 76 free throw on. Um, all right. So next up, we got the playmaking for Damian Lillard. We're going to raise up the playmaking. I'm uh, sorry, the ball handle. Max that out. We're going to max out the speed with ball. And then the passing accuracy, we're going to raise that up just to a 68. And here we go. We got we're at 68 that'll get us 18 playmaking exactly and then to cap it off Damian Lillard is a good defender as well so we got to make sure we have that 95 perimeter defense which every point guard on this game should have so make sure if you guys ever do make a point guard build you raise that perimeter defense up to a 95 max that out and now for the defense the thing that milks a lot of badge points is the defensive rebound so we're going to raise that up and just like that we got we get the nine just to show you guys that you know um the best way to go is with the rebounding if we were to go steals we'd have to go all the way to like to, to get nine we'd have to go all the way up to 80 and then we're already at 92 overall so then we'll have no points left for physicals so that's why i said go with the rebound see we're only at 87 and we still get the same amount of badge points hopefully that makes sense um and now for the physicals we're going to raise the speed up we got to get the excel up and then bring the stamina up to a 71 around that area and then yeah there you go and the 71 71 so this is the final build we got. We got six finishing, 20 defensive, sorry, 20 shooting, 18 playmaking, and nine defensive badges. Plus the physicals, we got max out speed and excel, and then a 71 stamina. A lot of people might say, why don't you have 95 stamina? I've just realized for me personally, stamina isn't the most important stat on the game. Like you can counter that with Gatorade and you know drills or whatever. If you really like the stamina, then fine, you could go max out. But me personally, um, unless you're like a complete ISO player and you always need to be dribbling the ball, holding R2, then you don't need the most stamina ever. Especially, you know, for me, this build, I, I like to use screens, so I'm going to be using screens. I'm not going to be ISOing the whole time, so I don't need the most stamina possible. So it just, you know, it depends on how you play the game. All right. So now for the takeover, um, we're gonna we have two takeover selections. I'm gonna be choosing Limitless Ranges primary. Damian Lillard can shoot from the parking lot. You feel me? He definitely has that Limitless Range attribute. You know that that Limitless Range. You know finesse to him. So we definitely gotta put that on. And then for the second one, I'm gonna go ankle breaking shots. You know it's a pretty cool takeover. If you wanna get those cool clips, get your ankle breakers in. Definitely go with that. If you do like to fade, like I said, go with the pull of precision. That's a very good takeover as well on this game. And we're gonna complete the my player build. Here we go. And we got a build as a two-way shot creator. And we got shades of John Morant, Damian Lillard, and Russell Westbrook. So that's the build. Let's get into the badges. Um, and let's get right into it, man. I'm sure you guys the badge breakdown. Let's go. Alright, so we raised the build to a 99 overall, and now let's get into the badges. So we're gonna start with the finishing here. Um, obviously we do have that 90 um, you know, driving dunk. 
so we're gonna put out the we're gonna put the post stars at the hall of fame or you could put it to gold if you want you know two gold badges so i say do that and then for the next one we're gonna go giant slayer or you could go slither finisher with this it doesn't really matter i'm gonna go giant slayer because the build is 6-3 so if we ever are taking the ball up against the taller defenders it'll be a lot easier to you know make the bucket all right so now we got 20 shooting this is the bread and butter right here i'm gonna show you guys the must need shooting badges for this game we need the deep threes especially for lillard you know like i said he could shoot from the parking lot we need hot zone hunter hot shot that gets your takeover a lot quicker um we need green machine and then for the last one you could go dead eye you could go blinders blinders is a really good badge you know if the defender's standing right next to you you could just shoot it it's kind of like crabbing them you know what i mean i would just go blinders for now put that up there we go now we got the 16 sorry the 18 playmaking badges we got to get the quick first step we got to get the handles those can both be hall of fame of course um next badge up we need to get is the unpluckable put on like a silver the thing um the thing with unpluckable is a lot of people can get ripped on the game easily but i feel like if as long as you have that badge on it's not as hard to get ripped let me know how, what what level unpluckable you guys like to use so definitely put that on next up badge um if you guys like floor general we can't get it to hall of fame so sadly you know if you do like to help out your teammates put that on but for me um i'm gonna go with bullet passer i like that badge a lot i'm gonna definitely go with the bullet passer and for the final one i'll just put it on bailout and ankle breaker because bailout whenever you know you go for the layup and pass it out you know it, it won't go out of bounds i like doing bailout passes a lot so that's just my play style so i'm definitely gonna put that bailout on and now let's move on to the, to the defensive badges we got to get the hall of fame clamps maybe like ankle braces or something and then some pick dodger on you feel me i'm gonna go like that um and that's it for the build that's really it hopefully you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you guys made this build how you guys like the build what you would change if you made it yourself what your play style is all that good stuff as always if you guys are new to the channel i'd really appreciate if you could drop a like on this video hit that subscribe button if you're new it's me your boy chomp on the mic man and i'm out